Hi, I'm Dr. Amon. I'm the, on the teaching staff of Northwest Suburban Cottage. Uh, we are doing a Yosemite Step 1 course here in Chicago. Uh, we welcome you to join us uh, for this wonderful course, actually. So today I'll be talking to you about such a high yield topic from biostats. Uh, it's gonna be this graph that concerns specificity and sensitivity, as well as positive predictive value, PPV, and negative predictive value, NPV. This graph is actually seen on so many questions. When you practice questions as well as your similes. So my job today is to make it really easy for you to answer any question regarding this graph. So when it comes on the test or any question per, uh, exactly, what happens is that they present it to you just like that. So they tell you who's healthy, who's sick, and they show you what the axes are, nothing beyond. And you need a few more information to be able to answer the question, okay? So let's start with that. Whenever you see this, regardless what the question is, do what I'm gonna do next, okay? All this start by marking your negative test, because this is actually the test results here on the x-axis. So I wanna know which part is my negative test, which part is my positive test, okay? So on your healthy side is always your negative test. This does not change. Hopefully it doesn't for a good test at least, okay? So this is your negative test. By the same principle, on my disease side of the graph is always my positive test. So we always start with these. Very simple full points, very quick, it shouldn't take a lot of time, and it will help you actually answer your questions. Once we're done with this, we'll go to the second point that also is important to answer in questions, and that is determining which part here is false negative and which one is false positive. There's a very simple trick you guys can use to come on uh, to actually conclude which one is which. So on the positive test side, side sorry, is your false positive. So positive goes with positive. Really simple, really easy. On your negative side will be your false negative. Once I have this information on my graph, it will be a lot easier answering any questions that they can throw at us with regards to this topic, okay? I have my tags, I have the information I need. Let's go on and discuss how they can ask us and how to answer questions with regards to this topic. So what they might do is ask you if I move the cutoff point from what it is now to a new cutoff point. So let's do that. Let's say I move my, I move my cutoff point from point A on this graph to point B, which is a little bit to the right. So now I just moved my cutoff point from point A to point B, from where it was to towards me, to the right side of the graph. The simple way to answer questions is really this. Think about this as the line of truth. That's what I always call it, okay? So think about the, the, the line that was before as the line of truth. Hold it in your hands. Do not be shy. It's okay. Hold it in your hands and pull it towards you. So by doing this, you know that you have actually, you, you kind of like, you're including less diseased people. By looking at this, I'm including less diseased people than what I did when I had the line at its original spot. So if I include less diseased people, what is that gonna do to my sensitivity and specificity? Again, very simple, very easy. Always associate your sensitivity with disease. Always, always, always. This will never fail you. Associate sensitivity with disease. And again, by the same principle, we associate specificity with healthy, okay? So if I, just like what I said before, if I hold my line and it brings it toward me, I will, I will have less diseased people. Thus, my sensitivity should be decreased. As simple as that, there's no magic, it's not difficult, it should be easy for you guys to, to figure out as well. If I decrease my sensitivity, then my specificity will go up. That's it, really nothing beyond. If they wanna take it one step further and ask you about PPV and NPV, well, we are ready for that too. PPV, positive predictive value, and specificity always go in the same direction. All that they always do. So if I increase my specificity by moving the line towards me from point A to point B, I will also increase my PPV. And again, 
sensitivity moves with negative predictive value. If that decreased, this decreases. And again, another trick that I used to use personally when I studied for my step one is that specificity has the letter P, and so is PPP. By the same principle, sensitivity has the, word, the, the letter N, and so is NPP. Remember these clues, guys, and it will be really easy for you to answer any questions. Just to be sure that you guys got it, we'll actually do one more practice point. Let's say I, move, I want to move my cutoff point from A to the left, to point to actually point C. So let's say they ask us that, and then they, they ask us what's, what kind of effect it will have on my sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and NPV. But instead of me answering that, I would like to ask one of my students to volunteer, come on the board, and uh, do this for us. Please, come on. Yes. Awesome. All right, so you want me to move the line of truth from A to C, correct? Correct. All right, I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna grab the line. I'm gonna pull it to C. So if I'm doing this, then I'm going to be decreasing specificity and I'm going to be decreasing PPV. Also, at the same time, I'm going to be increasing sensitivity and increasing NPV. Excellent. Pulling the line towards me. So when you pull the line, how did that affect your healthy people? How many did we detect, detect less healthy people or more healthy people? We actually detected less healthy people and then and we detected more diseased people. Excellent. And that explains why we have the changes in specificity and sensitivity, as you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Absolutely. So, guys, that was. Uh, thank you very much for tuning with us. Uh, please subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. We have more videos coming up. Uh, I hope you benefited from this. If you have any questions, please post any comment, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.